Hey fellow vault dwellers, in today's video I'm going to show you guys the two-handed bloodied melee build. So let's get into this. Go to the punch card machine. I'm on my build so we're going to do the edit special. Your strength is 12, perception 1, endurance 11, charisma 6, intelligence 7, agility 11, luck eight so let's do the legendary perk cards okay so i forgot to take off ammo factory so i'm quickly going to take it off and put the perk card you what you're going to need is legendary charisma so you're going to need legendary perception uh, legendary luck strength endurance charisma and intelligence all maxed except perception so let's get to the perk cards you're going to need Expert Slugger maxed. You could either choose when you have Strength maxed to have a level 2 Slugger, or you can choose to have a level 2 Bandolier. But for now, I have a level 1 Bandolier and a level 1 Slugger. I have Master Slugger. I also have Barbarian and Incisor. Perception you're going to need Reflector. It helps you do a lot of damage. In Endurance, you're going to need Radical. You're also going to need Life Giver so you have more HP. Iron Clad so you can do more damage without power armor. Automate Skeleton so you can't get shot. In Charisma, you want Stranger Numbers, Travel Agent, Bodyguards, and you're going to need a level. Three tenderizer, but I don't have my cards max, so I'm gonna put on a level two tenderizer for now, so I could showcase you guys the build when we done all the per cards. So I'm gonna quickly put that on. In intelligence, you're gonna need nerd rage. You're gonna need batteries included, scrapper, and makeshift warrior this is going to let your melee weapons break slower in agility you can need action girl or action boy evasive and adrenaline it helps you do a lot more damage in luck you're going to need class freak starch genes serendipity that helps you not to die and ricochet that also helps you not to die while doing this melee build the mutations you're going to need is a general a general reaction bird bones, carnivore or herbivore depending if you want to get more XP, uh, eagle eyes, empath, herd mentality, marsupial, scaly skins, speed demon, talons and twisted muscles. All of that will help you do more damage or will give you nice perks. My special points looks like this. So as you can see, that's my special points. You exactly need all that points. So, I'm going to show you guys how it looks when your Nerd Rage gets activated. So you will see on the left of the screen, I will be showing you when it's activated. See there? That's when it's activated. That's how you know if your Nerd Rage is activated. So, the buffs you're going to need or chems you're going to need to do more damage are buff tats it gives you more strength and more health psycho tats gives you more damage and damage resistance okay i'm just showing you guys three strength and 40 percent more health on buff tats then psycho buffs you can eat it does 25 more percent damage plus 3 strength and gives you 65 more health that's very nice in my opinion so the weapon i will be using is a chainsaw so i have a vampire 40 power attack 15 damage taken while blocking the one you're going to need is a vampire's 40 percent power attack or 40 percent swing speed plus one strength that's a very good rule and then also the 
other one you can get is a bloodied for 40% power attack damage plus one strength or 40% swing speed plus one strength. So let's go show how much damage this build does. So I'm going to test this without the buffs first. As you can see, I have my chainsaw there. And so let's go. I'm going to test this. I would recommend to use this in third person because it um, does more damage and it's more quicker. As you can see, I do about 55 damage to 59 or 62 damage. That's on super mutants. Then on dogs, I will do about 132 to 150. That's when I activate the boost. But right now, I'm doing about 100 and 37 so I'm just gonna kill this last few super mutants and then we can go into West Tech and then I will show you case you guys how much damage I will be doing with the buffs so I'll see you guys now so now that we are on West Tech I'm gonna activate the buff tats I'm gonna activate the psycho tats and psycho buffs so I will be doing a lot more damage in like a few seconds time. I don't know why, but for me it was not working at first, but after like 20 seconds to 30 seconds, it was doing more damage. But as you can see, uh, eventually I will be doing 62 to 64 damage on Super Mutants and about 137 damage to 160 damage on Super Mutant Dogs. I will... Also be showcasing how I kill a Marla Queen really really fast with this build. But as you can see, I'm doing a lot of damage onto the super meter. So I'm gonna let this play on so you can see how much damage I do. And then I'll show you guys straight after how much damage I do to a Marla Queen. Okay, now that I finally have spawned here, now let's go and kill this Marla Queen. So, let's see how much damage this does. Someone shot it already, but I'm gonna kill it. As you can see, I'm doing 30 to 60 damage on it, and it killed it really fast, as you can see there. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a lot, and like and subscribe, and peace.